The bulk of our business is uh, selling to livery companies or limousine companies that use them for corporate work, weddings, proms, that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's also private individuals that come to us that want mobile offices built or limousines built to their specification to use wherever they might be. Uh, we do quite a few vehicles in the uh, Connecticut, New York, upper New Jersey area where they want to work on in the car w on their way to work. Yeah. Um, and we do quite a bit of business up in Canada as well um, for with different uh, types of vehicles from the, lim the Lincoln Town Car Limousine, the XT, the um, DTS Limousine, Cadillac, or the, uh, or the uh, Navigators are also popular. The most popular sizes that we build is a 70 inch six passenger, a 100 inch eight passenger, and 120 inch nine passenger. And it depends on what the usage is gonna be. A lot of the uh, limousine companies want 120 inch vehicle for you know doing the weddings and proms and yeah. have more room inside. Uh, the bulk of our business I would say is white or black limousines and then from that we can also custom build to what people want um, according to what their needs are and yeah yeah. Over here is our upholstery department and what we'll do here is we buy our all of our upholstery products, the, cat, the carpet, the headliner, the vinyls, the leathers, all from the same sources as Lincoln and Cadillac. So it matches in durability, in color, in uh, quality, uh, flame resistant. So it's, we can do any type of two-tone look to it, or we can, we can custom any, any type of interior, but we can also match exactly with what the factory has and what we'll do uh, a lot of the vehicles, that, the bigger vehicles that we'll use have a J seat and what, we're, what we've done here is we have a mock up of our uh, J seat that we install into the vehicle on the side here so we can make sure that the seat's made to the exact specifications and size that's going to go into the vehicle. This is our upholsterer, he okay. does do the sewing of the seats here, okay. make up our own seats. Um, We'll make up our own uh, overlay carpets over here. They'll take the, pan the body panels inside the vehicle can get wrapped with the vinyls or leathers. At this point, yep. the car has been painted and it'll come into this area. Yep. Our electrical guy, oh, yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. will jump in, start running the wiring. At the same time, or in conjunction with that, we'll have our uh, interior trim department will uh, secure the windows on each side yeah. and then once that's done then they'll do the moldings and then the coach lights will go on so once it's sealed or you know, watertight we'll send it into the wash bay and they'll run we have our own in-house uh, car wash yeah. and they'll run that with people inside and out of it so they can make sure that there's no leaks throughout the, the car and start doing the uh, carpet and seats and things like that. Do you have to have a special battery because of all the electricity that's in this? No, actually, we it, it has. When we buy the car, we're a QVM builder yeah. from Lincoln, which means qualified vehicle modifier. And the vehicle that we buy has a package that has an upgraded alternator, upgraded battery, upgraded uh, radiator, upgraded transmission, um, bigger ball joints, some plating in the crumple zone areas, things like that, so that they've, they've given us a vehicle that they feel will test of the durability requirements of a Lincoln limousine up to uh, the rating of the gross vehicle weight, which in this case is 7,500 pounds. Um, so they've done the testing, and by doing what, what they've done is they developed this program in 1990, and we've been a member of it since then. And what they'll do is to belong in that, they'll come out, test all the aspects of your business. They'll check to make sure your, your warranty processes, the methods that you use to build it, the products that you buy to build it, and uh, to make sure you have the right insurances and that you do business ethically and things like that. Once all those are done, then you become part of their program. You have to buy, they'll send their engineers, they'll do a testing of this, all this evaluation. And once that happens, they know that you're going to build a safe vehicle 
then at that point they'll give you you can then buy these pack this package from them you can have you can offer different types of financing to your customers you can get so uh, the chassis is a sold to us at a slightly reduced price and things like that so they give some benefits because they want to know that when the vehicle goes out there it's not just some body shop hacking it and sending out a vehicle that they don't deem to be safe mm -hmm. and i'm not saying that not every body shop could do a good job but they want to make sure that you're doing the right processes and you're building with the right materials and they're using a chassis that should be built into a limousine and not just something that's a, an average everyday vehicle that might not have the appropriate components. Off to our right here is our cabinet shop, yep. which they'll make furniture quality consoles and bars for the vehicles. And we'll also, some of the vehicles are also made of a composite material. It's all done in-house over here. Uh, this particular vehicle has a J seat. You'll see that metal frame. Yeah. It's welded to the floor so that there won't be any problem if, if there is an impact or as time goes on. If it was just bolted to the floor, bolts can loosen and wiggle and rust and vibrate and whatnot. So it's welded right to the floor so it'll be as strong 10 years from now as it is now. Right, right. This is a 120 inch five door that they're building here. As you can see, the insulation inside the vehicle is a bubble pack insulation. Oh, yeah. It uh, creates a 20% better vapor barrier on the vehicle and as far as hot to cold, so it does a great job for it. We'll also use that to wrap all of our air conditioning hoses and things like that to keep the heat warmer in the wintertime that's blowing through or the AC colder in the summertime. In this particular case, we did, we, this is a fifth door vehicle, so we've manufactured this door here yeah. to give you easier access into the vehicle. And this particular vehicle is uh, for a private individual that's in Florida that uh, just wanted the vehicle built to his specifications. So he's selected the color of the fabrics that he would choose. Right, right. He selected the carpet the color, the, uh, the seat material, the roof color and, and material out of portfolio that we gave him to choose from. This is a TV broadcast truck oh, yeah. with the mast on top. We don't do the electronics in-house. We have a, a, a vendor that we work with for that part of it, but we put the cap on, we we'll put in the uh, access panels, the flooring. The... Uh, sprinters have become more popular lately too, okay. so that we'll do some of what we're best at. We don't usually have to do too much with the exterior, but sometimes people will... Uh, ask us to add appointments on the interior. We can do different types of seats. Uh, we can add wood trim, lighting, uh, TVs, DVD players, um, quite a few things like that so that executives that are trying to fit more people than they could fit in a limousine yeah. could fit into one of these vehicles. And this one's a 15 passenger with a bus door. You probably use the same type of vehicle for like uh, the wheelchair accessible type. Uh, actually, the smaller vans seem to be very popular right now, like the Dodge Caravan, where it's just for one or two people yeah. in the back part uh, with a wheelchair. I mean, and then this is another Sprinter that we're working on. This is uh, an 11 passenger uh, Sprinter with a large uh, storage area in the rear for luggage and we're mounting the seats in at this point and we're gonna do a couple different variations of that. At some point, we'll develop a limo interior with perimeter seating mm -hmm. uh, to go inside this shell, or a shell like this. Right, and, right. Uh, but there's any number of things. We've had other customers that want captain's chairs and right. mobile office type setup with desks and whatnot, and TV monitors and things like that. Do you folks use the internet more than when you first started? Yeah, I think it's helped quite a bit. It uh, enables us to show a lot more pictures, to communicate quicker, um, to locate different types of materials that we might need. Um, and then we get inquiries throughout with that as well.